This one looks a little sleepy, but he's not. Okay. Yeah. So he trapped us. And, uh... I don't even care what the lollipop option is, honestly. We gotta try this. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Comics Bob. That game where Bob, the beach ball shaped caveman, somehow managed to get Jessica, the perfectly shaped cave woman, to fall in love with him. And he had a good thing going there for a while until Jessica got abducted by dinosaurs and aliens, and Bob ended up having to settle for Shovel Face. Who is a bit of a downgrade, I guess you could say. Or I'll put it to you this way. If Jessica was sirloin steak, then Shovel Face would be hot dog water. Now, fortunately, Jessica's a whole lot more than just a pretty prehistoric face. You know, she's a strong, independent cave whammon who don't need no man. So I'm kind of hoping she'll be able to escape on her own. So I gotta be honest, Bob isn't coming. Especially now that you have been replaced by Shovel Face. <laughs> I mean to say, he isn't going to arrive to rescue you. Coming with the no. Get your minds out of the gutter. <laughs> so are we going to chop off our restraints with an axe? Or are we going to touch up our eyeliner? File our nails? I don't even know what that second thing is. Your eyeliner is wonderful. Totally on... Bleak. Did the kids say that in prehistoric times? I don't even know if you have nails, so I'm thinking we just get out of here. Like, the aliens don't deserve you. We all know the only person who should be probing you is Bob. Oh. Oh. Wait, I, I got so wrapped up in the escape, I didn't even realize they're cloning her. I know I probably shouldn't get greedy here, but do you think it's possible for this pink Sharpie to release all three of them? Like, one is more than enough, but three is better. It would definitely make Bob's day. Oh, it was like some kind of screwdriver. No, no, what about the other two? Okay, we'll go back and get them. They're perfectly fine. They're not going anywhere. And apparently, neither are we. At least until we deal with what could be an alien or could be an ancestor of Mike Wazowski. No offense, Jessica, but given the choice between you swinging around a baseball bat or swinging around your hips, I think we're gonna go with the latter. Like, your flirt game is way stronger than your muscles. I don't even care if this guy's a different species. She could strike a pose and make a desert wet. <laughs> and then deliver a, a crushing backflip tombstone. <laughs> I don't know if that thing had a brain, but if it did, then it's also got a concussion. Okay, well, we've got a strict press all buttons policy, so there's no choice here. Hopefully this door is as simple as a human door? Or not? Uh, that thing probably has a whole bunch of tentacles. Which means the lights going out might actually be good, so it means I get to keep my ads. Come to think of it, why didn't you tell me you had a crowbar this entire time? Like, I, I don't want this to sound like a dirty joke because it isn't intended to be, but she's got one of the most mysterious assholes I've ever seen. You know, it's like Santa's sack, the one that he throws over his back. It's just bottomless, somehow. I don't know why in the back of my head I assumed that getting past one alien and through one door would mean we're back on Earth. Like, obviously not. We need to find some kind of space helmet, and maybe don't touch the weird alien slug dogs. That, that's just a general rule of thumb. So, should we feed it a bone? Or play it a song? I kind of want to play it a song. Or feed it a ukulele, maybe? Smash it in the head with an acoustic guitar? I don't really... No, no, we're, we're gonna play it a song and hope that this doesn't act like a dinner bell. Huh. All right then, and we're just gonna put it right back up in there. <laughs> you see what I mean, though? This one looks a little sleepy, but he's not. Okay. Yeah, so he trapped us, and uh, I don't even care what the lollipop option is, honestly. We gotta try this. <laughs> Maybe you're gonna... Have a spare? Oh, that's not nearly as fun. But he he also has a spare. And now you're a thoughtsicle. You couldn't not try that though, right? 
I'd assume she's just gonna seductively lick the lollipop and work this guy over the same way she did the last one, but I'm kinda hoping she uses it to summon some kind of Oompa Loompa gang to rescue her from the pit. <laughs> you never know. Oh, yeah, he would wanna lick that after where it's been. <laughs> Sucker. Okay, well now we've got the ice ray. You never know when you're gonna need that for another alien sneaking up on you with an even bigger gun this time. And of course the ice ray's now gone. <laughs> because how could we possibly find it in there with all the other junk lying around? So are we gonna hit him with an umbrella? Or slap the crap out of him? <laughs> Actually, that could be high five him. I don't really trust her decision making, so how about we open an umbrella indoors? I've always heard bad things would happen. There's only one way of finding out. Oh, oh, okay, that's clever and kind of cruel, but I guess she is trying to escape captivity. <laughs> All right, we got our helmet, and now we're just gonna kind of running man our way back to the planet, I guess. Jessica, you're a cave woman who's easily impressed by fire, and I'm no space biologist, so I'm not sure how this plan is gonna work out. I don't think we could just run for it. <laughs> but we've got another troublemaker who's looking to get a firework between his cheeks, right? I I I've always heard that fire in space is a bad thing, and that holds true. Not quite what I was hoping for. Oh, we might be moving a little bit too fast. Yep, that's a valid warning. Let's turn this thing around. Do you know where Earth is? Do you even know that Earth is round? Why did you have that up there? Oh, that was good too. Okay. <laughs> this is going better than I expected. Um, hello, ma'am. Your sons have been very rude to me, so I'm gonna have to either kick or slap your lever. Let's go with a kick? I don't know what the difference is, but oh. Huh, yeah! <laughs> Way to go, Jessica! Flawless escape! Maybe? When the door says exit, I still don't know how we're getting back down to the planet. Oh, crap. When I said the planet, I, I probably should have been more specific. I meant Earth. We wanted Earth. I don't know what this is, but it's clearly not where we need to be. So we're going to try to commandeer another UFO as soon as we get past this lava puddle. Do we want to use a ladder or an umbrella? I would be willing to bet that a ladder will burst into flames over this, whereas it's pretty windy, so maybe we can Mary Poppins our way across this? If anything, it's kind of comfortable to get this out of the old bunghole and... Oh, it was too effective. Hold up a minute, you've got the freeze ray in your left hand. Why don't we just use that? Like, I refuse to believe the crawling over lava on a wooden ladder while it's gusting wind outside is the right thing to do. You're just asking to get minecrafted. Even if the ladder is extremely retractable, that seems dumb. But now we need to worry about the slug dog again? I don't suppose you're friendly this time around? No? Okay, well... I don't think we can fix that with a wrench, so are you interested in an ear of corn? <laughs> don't ask why I think that might be the answer, but I got nothing else going for me. Need a friendly snack will uh, fill you up or not? Is that a bad thing or a good thing? It's a good thing! <laughs> so would that be popcorn or poop corn? I, I, I'm not even gonna ask. It's fine. This is not fine. This is the opposite of fine. We got a big lipped plant that has stolen our oxygen. Uh, and now we can use the freeze ray, of course. Or scissors. Not sure what craft scissors are going to do in this situation, but I kind of want to see. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and clip his balls. Wow. That was a low blow, I'm not going to lie. Even for a plant, that, that, I can relate to that, that hurts. How did this go from being a game about a fat caveman dating way outside of his own league to a game about a beautiful cave woman exploring the stars and dealing with asteroid belts? Why don't you just go around? 
<laughs> There's a whole lot of space. We don't need to deal with this. I, I, I definitely don't want to blow bubbles at it. So how about we just blow them up? We've got a, a fancy UFO ray gun for a reason. We blew our load a little too early. You'd think she'd be used to that by now. Maybe the bubbles are some kind of force field that we'll put around the ship. I was going to say every individual rock because none of that really makes sense. Clearly rocks should pierce bubbles, especially if they can beat scissors. Uh, oh, hey there, slug dog. You got your own ship? You kidding me right now? Do you have any idea how stupid you look? Here, l let me show you. Just, just take a look at that. Yeah, it's pretty silly, right? Almost terrifying. Oh, because he's a slug dog. He doesn't realize it's his reflection. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm a charge of my laser. Okay, he's now space dust. That could be a problem. Real big problem. Uh... I, I think that might actually mean go around it, but I'm afraid that it could be go through it. So instead, we're going to go with saw through it. I like the idea of just cutting it in half. You can't really screw that up, can you? It's, it's not like it's just going to explode or anything. Yeah, simple enough. Sometimes there are foolproof solutions to really dumb problems. And we made it back to Earth. <laughs> I wonder how Bob's doing. How have you not gotten rid of her yet? That doesn't make any sense. Like, space travel takes a long time, and we found Shovel Face in the dead of winter. It's summertime now. What have you been doing this entire time, Bob? And why are you thinking about food instead of getting rid of her? What changed? We should be thinking about how to drop the tree on her, or how to hit her with the boomerang. I know he probably wants to eat that pterodactyl, that's our objective right now, but like, every time Bob's ever used a weapon, it's gone poorly. A boomerang is only like, half weapon? It's also half toy? So maybe we can use this to be a hunter-gatherer? Or maybe we could use it to hit Shovel Face? Or hit ourselves and Shovel Face? <laughs> I mean, th that doesn't really help the situation though, she already had a lumpy head! I just hope you haven't changed your mind, Bob, okay? Like, there are plenty of cave women out there, and I'm sure they can all shake your trees. Oh, oh! Did he just eat that pterodactyl whole? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> he belly flopped onto it and just absorbed it. Ooh, okay, no, we're not using a weapon. Bob is not a weapon guy. We're, we're gonna use a rock. Or, I, I guess, Shovel Face is gonna use a rock. Is she the hunter-gatherer now? Oh, no, she killed the Play-Doh deer. Oh, I was kind of becoming friends with that guy. He was so awkward looking. What do you mean, shrug? <laughs> you should be terrified. Oh, I see that hair hasn't grown back, huh? <laughs> it's been a couple of months. You kind of imagine it would. Wait, I didn't do that. I shaved a, a piece of a mammoth's ass, not a, a side. Maybe we can give him hair back? We got a whole lot of hair. What is she doing now? Oh. <laughs> oh, that's not the hair I thought we were going to give him. Um. I don't know whether to be turned on or terrified. Probably the latter. Oh, no. Bob has chosen the former. God damn it, Bob. What is wrong with you? Bob, it's not too late. We can still fix this mistake. All I'm saying is a beautiful woman is gonna come falling out of the sky any minute now, and if she doesn't want to play Homewrecker, then you're gonna regret your decisions. Especially if we make it permanent. Uh, I guess we could draw with pencil? That has an eraser on it. We can get rid of the evidence, or we could have it break off and she's gonna bludgeon us for that? This isn't a healthy relationship! I've noticed that some people in the comments don't really appreciate Jessica, you know, because she was dating around and seeing other guys at the same time she was seeing Bob, but that's okay. You know, they weren't serious. They're on the same wavelength. It's a whole lot better than threatening abuse. <laughs> Hopefully we can stab her with this rock. I, I love that I make it out like she's the aggressive one. 
when in all reality, we've literally hit her in the face with a shovel trying to kill her and called her shovel face ever since. <laughs> oh, she wants a banana now, does she? Okay, well, should we cut down the banana tree or give her a left jab? Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> Fingers crossed that gets rid of her. Oh, I wasn't expecting you to punch down the banana or for her to like that. I hate that this is a blossoming relationship. There shouldn't be any love here. Come on, Bob. Can you break this up, Officer Monkey? No, you're gonna blackmail me. I see how it is. I need flowers and, and you need my clothes. You could use some clothes. Oh, oh, that hurts. They're just gonna laugh at my flabby man nips. You know what, you guys are just jealous. The monkey, because he doesn't have any nips, and shovel face, because hers bounce off her knees. <laughs> Here, take some sunglasses and leave me alone. What is going on with your ear, monkey? Why is it huge in comparison to the other? Am I only just now noticing that? Was it always like that? <laughs> she doesn't seem impressed by the flowers at all. Really? Bob, I don't suppose you see anything tall, curvy, and beautiful falling out of the sky, do ya? Oh my god, you want to marry Shovel Face? Why? What the hell is wrong with you? Um, you need to open the outhouse. Are you gonna find the ring in the toilet? Um, use the squirrel bum for reasons. I don't know. <laughs> you gonna tickle the lock open? He actually tickled the lock open. I don't even know why I try to explain these options. He's just gonna go and fall into a hole that is blatantly in front of him. Ooh, this is a good choice, actually. I like this because we could tunnel further down or moon boots. Clearly gotta go with the moon boots. He just happens to keep a pair on him at all times. Come on, throw your weight into it. Bob, that actually worked. Two for two. I'm just picking the dumbest option every time and watching the ring get eaten by a uh, lamb. Is it a lamb though? Because we know when we shave it off, it's wearing underwear, so it might be something weird. And also, oh, we scared it. it. It ran. Great. So, no ring? Is this the best ending possible? Let's just stay nice and calm, my little sheepy friend. How about I trade you a fistful of grass for a life full of regrets? <laughs> Does that sound good? Yeah, there we go. Okay, not gonna eat you yet. I'm too busy making a real ugly mistake. <laughs> oh, Bob. I, I, I don't want to have to end things here. There has to be more. All right, but you know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Comics Bob, guys. Apparently, there is more. Like, they updated the game since last episode, so there are half a dozen or a dozen more levels, which means we could return to see whether or not Bob and Jess live happily ever after. I really want to see that, I'm not gonna lie. I still think this is one of the funniest games that I'm playing right now. So if you want to see that, as always, be sure to leave a like the video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe we'll return to see Jessica and Shovelface enter the rage cage. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.